All right, now there's a there's a lot of things going. On. I so I saw this. All right, hold on. First off, since we're in Toronto, I think this is big news that we should address slightly. I already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> that chair, girl. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Shout out. You know what? I just gotta. She beat the. She 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 got charged, obviously, but she got a lesser charge than a lot of people expected. Well, so she got probation, two years probation. Yeah. 150 hours of community service and a two thousand yeah. dollar fine. And who was there to pick her up as soon as the court was done? I saw Chromas in the CV twenty fours. I was like, was that Chromas? <laughs> that was such a fucking publicity stunt. I was dying when I saw this. I'm like, what the fuck? When did they become friends? Who decided to be friends with each other? Like, when did this even happen? Like, that was yeah, that was hilarious. But I was watching one of their stories like after that was posted because I was like, oh, someone on their profile. I can't remember whose. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? These bitches are so like just dumb. Like, like they're posting snap or insta stories like, oh, like just got free, freed up, like blah blah blah. I'm like, bro, you were not you didn't kill nobody. You're not a real thug. Like, like cut Mm -hmm. it out. Like, you weren't in jail. Like, they're acting as if she did, like, something so, like, like, I don't know. They're, they're just acting as if it's so much bigger than what it was. Don't be wrong. Yeah. I think both these girls are very, very pretty. Like, I think mm-hmm. they're very pretty girls, but they're stupid. Like, uh, they're yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. But hold on. That chair girl, is she, is she even late, native to Canada? I swear she's, like, an immigrant. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure, you know. I, I heard that as well, but then I saw that she was from here. She's just, like, her background is, like, Brazilian or something. Oh. I don't really know, but, like... Is that... Are her, those asses... Her, is her ass real? Because her ass... Be I don't think so. Okay. All right. I don't I don't think it's real, but, like, okay. it's huge. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having that. She's only 20 with a huge ass. Yeah. I find that very suspicious. She has a nice body, but, yeah, so... Oh, I just want to say <laughs> the reason why a lot of you mad... Is because she got the complexion for the protection. Get it right. Yeah, it's Get true. It, right. it is true. She <laughs> got away with a lot of this. Like this only reason if an ugly person did this, they would not have gotten clout for this many years. They would not have ended up in a Drake video, blah, blah. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, I'm acknowledging the fact that she's very pretty and so mm-hmm. is Chroma's, but they're both just fucking stupid. Like yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. I'm surprised they actually got her out of the Drake War video. I'm surprised yeah. he ended up taking her out, to be honest. I'm actually surprised she brought, she brought this amount of press to something so minute. There's been yeah. worse killings that should have had more press behind it. Now, a girl throwing a chair... The killings weren't hot. <laughs> I guess. This is what the world has come to. It's I guess. <laughs> they, they went so serious about some girl throwing a chair over a balcony and people are angry. Yeah, I was like, I didn't really care. I just saw, I just walked into my kitchen. I saw the TV playing. I was like, oh, she got off. Yeah, was, like I didn't think it's like it. it's stupid, but it's not that severe. I think yeah, I think everyone is hating because she's pretty and she got attention from it because she's pretty. I think that's why yeah. everyone hates. Like it is stupid. Don't get me wrong. It was a wrong thing to do, but there is worse shit that happens. That right, like right. she could have honestly stayed in the Drake music video. Yeah, she said she couldn't find. Yeah, they're saying she can't find a job. I'm like, what's she doing? She's selling pussy. She doesn't even need what's one. She's she fucking verified on Instagram now. Oh, for real? Yeah, she doesn't need one. She probably gets sponsorships galore. Oh, so she's good. Yeah, Fuck she's it. fine. She's literally talking about it ruined my life. It did not ruin your life, girl. You're literally, you made it from this. She clotted up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Up. Exactly. I, I take back the comment. She, she's not selling pussy. I, just, I, just, I was being crazy. I got <laughs> <laughs> be crazy. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways on to this next local story yeah so there's i i was on my instagram uh feed i think yesterday and i saw some guy that i was following he I posted this in his ig story mm-hmm. of uh, a fellow torontonian woman she is now accusing music producer matthew any i don't know if i spelled his name right any any gun or any gun yeah for uh sexually for sexually assaulting her and she's also accusing uh, Langston Francis, who did not sexually assault her, but she has information from others, and especially Matthew telling her before he sexually assaulted her that Langston was out here raping chicks as well. Allegedly. This is all alleged. This is all accusation. Yeah. Uh, so I watched, I sat down, and I really, I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 first 15 minutes is all you really need. Everything else is just her. Honestly, I saw it was 45 minutes and I exited. 
I didn't yeah, I did. the first 15 minutes, 14, 14, 15, 14 minutes, you get, she gets out the story. The other 30 is just her you, going through her like, trauma, ex exerting, ranting about the whole thing. And I'm like, all right, cool. But yeah, so she was saying that she walked up or she was invited over by Matthew uh, for music purposes. And one thing led to another. And she said she was sexually assaulted or quote unquote, coerced mm. into doing some sexual things she said that there's no penetration so you know you could dwindle down what possibly could have happened mm -hmm. uh, and from there she walked out and she didn't believe she was sexually assaulted until she you know i guess thought it over and spoke to her friends mm -hmm. and her friends told her that she was sexually assaulted and then she went through uh, a, a whole bunch of emotions that led her to do that ig story and tell the world and put them on blast mm -hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, and then now she's, I, she's, I guess she's the face of sexual assault right now in Toronto, which is Yeah, cool. this is giving me real Toronto abusers vibes. We need yeah, that but, to come back. But there's a face to it now. Oh, there is? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, oh, she's you mean, the face. Oh, oh she's wow, I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. I fucked up that whole thing. Yeah, she is the face. So, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, she, she also posted, like, a, a news report uh, talking about how Langston Francis has been uh, accused. And she says that uh, this is not for clout, but she, she has a petition that she's trying to get people to sign to get Langston Francis removed from Sony Music. Although yeah, Langston like, Francis... Blow up. Yeah. Well, not blow up, but like he's getting big. Yeah. All, although Langston Francis, and I quote, did not touch this woman in particular, uh, she says she has proof or screenshots of people admitting that uh, they were sexually assaulted by uh sexually assaulted and or raped allegedly by langston francis and this matthew dude uh he apparently checked himself into rehab because he felt he said that he was on heavy drugs mm -hmm. during the time of the sexual assault so this is all very unfortunate situation that's going on uh i hope that uh this woman finds justice and once she finds justice or through the legal action she hopes i hope she that she finds closure from within because even if these guys do go to jail uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you will find closer. You still have to do that from within. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. And she's very angry with men. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to hinder this too much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be brief on this. Uh, a lot of times, uh, women in particular, or, or other guys in particular, like to do the whole monolith thing and kind of say that men are some type of uh, men need to do better. Like, nigga, get off my balls. I didn't do shit. Yeah, I'm talking not, about myself. Yeah, yeah, and, not, and other people like myself. Like, fuck out of here! Don't tell it's me it's not fair to categorize all men like that. But I guess when like she's in the moment of feeling these emotions, I can understand where she's coming from. And I think the thing with like things like sexual assault and stuff, and even rape and stuff like that, is like it's not black and white. Like it's so like. There's so, like, like the fact that, like, she didn't think she was, and then when she spoke to her friend, she was like, oh, shit, I was. Like, that's scary, you know? Because yeah, it's, yeah. like, not for nothing, but, like, what if I was to go and tell my friends about a sexual encounter that I had at a time where I wasn't sure if it was sexual or sexual, I thought it was normal, you know what I mean? And then it turns out I was sexually assaulted, whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's, like, kind of the scary thing is, like, you could have been sexually assaulted, and you wouldn't really know and everyone has a different view on what it is, you know? So it's just, it's like, so, it's just so like shitty. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly. All right. This is the times that we live in. So uh, be safe and, uh, you know, do your part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.